Welcome one and welcome all, baby, to the People's Channel. <laughs> Orchids for dummies. I am Foul Pal Darrell, and in today's video, darling, I want to share a couple of care tips growing your tropical plants like a alocasia, a phalaenopsis indoors when it's cold outside. What do the lonely do? Stay tuned. Welcome home back, baby, to a no judgment zone. So this is really what it's all about. This is a beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid, a species, in fact. If you don't know, these Phalaenopsis orchids in particular have a bad rep of not even being adequate to grow indoors. And that is, people say that because they are very light sensitive as well as temperature sensitive, okay? So keeping those two factors in mind will definitely be able to help you maintain your beautiful orchids and tropical plants indoors. <laughs> okay, that's what we want. So the first thing that you want to get before you go out getting fertilizer and getting the slicing and dicing and adding herbs and spices, because that's what you've seen somebody else do. You go get you one of these, okay? A thermostat, honey, a thermometer, honey. Girl, whatever this is that's telling you the information, you need to know. That's all you need to know. You're not outdoors. You're indoors. So I put this over here because, yes, honey, you think I'm walking around in this house and it's 62 degrees? Do you, you th that, is that what you think I'm doing? No, ma'am. It is not 62 degrees, but keep it in mind, growing on a window sill. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, but growing on a window sill, I'm not out in no greenhouse. Okay? On a window sill. You want to make sure that humidity is as well as you can get it. That's the second thing you want to buy, a nice humidifier. Or you want to start you some water culture. That's what they here for. That's what they here for. Okay. So what we're saying in this video is a couple of care tips with a little entertainment. Because honey, we're not going to sleep today. We're waking up. We're getting ready for work. We want to make sure when we come back home, our orchids is going to be okay. They're going to be okay. Because fam pal Darrell got your back. I'm on your side, the people's channel. So here we go, baby. Make sure that you're keeping in mind that orchids close to the door and orchids that is on the windowsill is going to have a, dip a different temperature than the rest of your home. Okay, I'm going to break it all the way down. So while it is a cold front, especially on a snowy frosty, cold day. You want to pull them off that window seal. If you can't pull them off as far like this, and that might be too close. You see it say 62 degrees. That's cold, but it's okay. This baby right here, she's too close. Let's bring her back. Let's bring her back. Okay, and I might put her on top today because it's too cold. 57 degrees and start and stuff get to happening. It get to happening. If you don't believe me, you got to stay tuned. on back to my indoor growth space, which is not much, but it's mine. Okay, you got to appreciate what God gave you. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So, okay, baby, these are beautiful Just Add Ice Orchids that I just got for Valentine's Day. My birthday is tomorrow, February, 20, February the 16th. Okay, 2021, I'll be 36 years old. So I don't have time to have beautiful flowers like this, gorgeous, gorgeous, and then come back home and they're gone. So I wanna make sure that I don't have any cold drafts coming in my home. 
This a small living room. So when the door opens, she's gonna feel it. She's gonna feel it. So I wanna make sure people not going in and out the door today. Some of you have kids and it's not possible to keep them indoors all day. But for some of us, okay, some of us who don't have dogs and stuff, we're girls. You can't go in and out that door today. No, ma'am. I have orchids in spike. I have tropical plants growing indoors in water culture. We gonna check the temperature. We gonna check the temperature, girl. Stay tuned. Welcome on um, back to a no judgment zone. This is exhibit A, which is my orchid diva phalaenopsis, which was on the windowsill. You see the discoloration around the edges, and you see even down here, that is frost. That's frostbite, okay? She got nipped and tucked. She got nipped and tucked from cold, cold hearted. It will make them wither, okay, and get leathery like. And that's exhibit A. I present to you Exhibit B, okay, for the each one teach one, new beginners. This Exhibit B, then you will get you a bacteria infection. That's what it looks like, okay? Some of us, girl, the orchid get yellow, and girl, we already slicing and dicing. Leave the orchid alone. Let it figure it out. So you see all this? That's, that's step number two. Okay, but we're watching it. If it's not spreading fast, we're going to give it time. Okay, it's not growing on the new growth, which is what we want. Exhibit B, um, C, honey. Uh, this girl is gone with the wind, but it's not fabulous. It's not fabulous, darling. This is sickness and, and death. And so what we want to do is make sure we are preventing this by maintaining steady temperatures indoors as long as we can. Stay tuned. Just to make it make sense to someone who has never had orchids before, but maybe has had an aquarium. When you get a new fish from the pet store, while it's still in that plastic bag, you are supposed to sit it in the aquarium for at least an hour to let it acclimate, meaning that the fish is going to be accustomed to the temperature of the aquarium you are now putting it in. That does not mean people don't buy fish. That does not mean that they're going to say you can't grow fish indoors. That means we're going to do what we got to do for our babies. Now stay tuned. I have the thermostat on 72 or 71, but um, that was at nighttime. It's now morning time. So now I'm gonna boost it up to 75, but, and that's just for the orchids and the plants that is away from the vent because we don't want them under the vent blowing dry air on them, okay? We want them somewhere close to nice humidity, like my growing setup. Let this is my growing setup. You see different types of orchids and you also see indoor house plants. That right there, that could be cold damage, okay? Mom is not the house plant queen. She's just letting you know that an orchid is a tropical plant. Hello, somebody. Can I get an amen? Okay, orchids, phalaenopsis orchids too are indoor house plants because we're making accommodations for them. That's what the aquarium comes in. Girl, that's humidity. That's what the water culture is from. That's humidity. Okay? That's humidity. Is it the best humidity? No. But my humidity is not going to go below 30%, okay? It can take a day of, of bad temperatures. It could take a day. But what you want to do is make sure that it is not something it has to get accustomed to in a short period of time. And you want to make sure that the ceiling fan, whatever fans, whatever um, winds, heats, girl, no dry air blowing on them. 
No dry air, no cold air. Keep it nice and steady and everything will be just fine. We're just trying to keep them alive. Okay, we're trying to maintain them. We're trying to maintain them, especially our new orchids that's in bloom. We want them to keep blooming. Okay, so keep the temperatures at least 72 degrees at home. Because 72 degrees at home is going to make sure that window seal is nice. And we're going to pull the um, orchids off the window seal like I showed you. Stay yes, there. God, we are back. So this is basically the distance that you want to have your orchids away from your window. Okay, that's a nice distance. Because it's going to be really cold. Like I said, you get you a towel. Put that towel up around that window seal, honey. Put the towel up. Because, girl, when you see um, condensation on your window seal and on your window, that means, girl, the temperatures outside and by that window is a lot different than the temperatures you're trying to accomplish in your home. And when you're burning your heat for so long, this is what's going to happen. Honey, girl, your orchids, the flowers is just going to say, oh, no, ma'am, I'm, 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 I'm giving up. But, fail pals, I want you to take these care tips into consideration and let me know how you are maintaining your indoor tropical plants, honey, in this cold day. I hope that you are having a blessed and prosperous day. Until... Yeah.